What's up YouTube, Joshua Ball Trades here and today I'm going to be watching, reacting to and giving a few talking points about the new Game of Thrones trailer that just dropped today. I'm talking about season 7, the trailer number 2. Uh, it's got the hashtag winners here in it. So no ado, let's give it a look and see what this thing is all about. HBO logo. Don't fight in the north or the south. Fight every battle, everywhere. Mm, fight everywhere. Always. All the time. In your mind. Okay, we're at the wall. I've seen her in a while. What's that? For centuries, our families fought together against their common enemy, despite their differences. Together, we need to do the same if we're going to survive. Because the enemy is real. It's always been real. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> when the snows fall, and the white winds blow. The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Hmm. Who is that on the horse? The lone wolf dies and they're riding away. June 16th, man, I am looking forward to it. Visit GameOfThrones.com. I am looking forward to it. This is going to be good. Okay, so we saw the trailer. I'm no genius with this stuff, but let me go through a few of the highlights that I saw that I think are going to be pretty interesting in Game of Thrones Season 7. Now, the very first thing that we saw is we had these images of, in like the first 10 seconds, Sansa Stark walking towards the camera, uh, but we didn't hear her. We heard Lord Baelish's voice, and so they've always had these link between the two characters, and it seems like that's not going to change with Season 7. He's more or less going to be the controlling voice behind her, and she's going to be the puppet of his that's running the show at the front along with Jon Snow. At least what it seems from here. Skipping forward a little bit to about the 1 minute and 7 second mark, we had Beric Dondarrion in the Fire Sword. And it looks like it's just that same sword that he had when he was fighting the Hound. Going forward just a little bit to about the 121 mark, we see who I'm assuming is still Beric holding his fire sword and they're fighting north of the wall in the snow. I'm assuming that this is going to be the White Walker fight or a build up to the White Walker fight. They're definitely in the territory and it's going down soon. The fire sword is going to be helpful. Speaking of White Walkers, we got a shot right there at about 124 of Jon Snow fighting the White Walker King. I mean, this buildup has been going on. Like, they're looking at each other in season six. They're aware of each other. It has to build up to a fight between the two of them. Only one survives. Of course, I'm in the boat of Jon Snow. I don't think the White Walkers are going to kill everyone, but it's going to be a crazy fight to see. As I said in the trailer one watch, I want to see everyone versus White Walkers. Like, I really want to see the crazy fights this season. I want to see the Mountain versus White Walkers. I want to see Dragon versus White Walkers. And I want to see Jon Snow killing the White Walker King. Just a second later in the trailer at about 1.42, we see Jon Snow killing someone. And this lead up makes us believe it's probably the White Walker King. But looking at those clothes, I don't think it is though. It looks like it may just be a wildling deserter or some sort of other people from north of the wall. I'm not sure, but I think it's a little misleading to show Jon Snow fighting White Walker King him killing someone who is not actually him. There was another really cool shot of Daenerys' army of all the Unsullied busting through some gate. We know Daenerys has been building up her army. She's got the Dothraki, she's got her dragons, she's got the Unsullied, she's got the Greyjoys. She's got a force. 
And so I'm not sure where exactly these guys are charging to, but it's going to be a big deal when this battle comes. Speaking of the Greyjoys, we got a pretty decent shot of them all looking into the air at some sort of explosion or maybe just light in the sky. But given the context of the other shots with ships exploding and some sort of uh, catapult objects hitting them, it's safe to assume that there's going to be a sea battle in which the Greyjoys and probably some of the other Ironborn are out invading Westeros. We got another battle at sea and it looks like it's going to be a really cool sequence. It actually looks like it might be the demise of the Greyjoys, but I really hope Yara doesn't die in this season because I really like her character. She's the strong Greyjoy. Theon, throw him overboard. He's useless at this point to me. But that's what I got from this trailer. If you saw something in it that I just glossed over and you feel super relevant, leave a comment below because I enjoy it when people bring this stuff to my attention. I look forward to interacting with everyone in the comments. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to get notifications about my newest videos. I will definitely be posting review videos after each episode of Game of Thrones after it begins July 16th. In the meantime, don't be a stranger. I'll be posting videos before then. That's all I got for now, so I will see you guys later. Bye, y'all.